The Water Gun, a summer essential. They come in all different designs, colors, and shapes, and are very important to have at pool parties. Let's use 3D animation to take this thing apart and see how it works. Between all water guns, this is a more basic design. It only sprays water as you pump it. We will potentially see how the more complicated trigger actuated water guns work in a future video. Let's first take a look at some of the main components that make up the gun. The water reservoir is clearly the big yellow tank that holds the water. And the green parts are the two housing halves that hold all the components together. Here we have the cap. This allows water to be filled into the tank and it can seal the tank so you don't lose water during combat. This is the trigger. On this model, the trigger is just for aesthetics. All the components and hoses help move the water. Right in the center, we can see an oddly shaped part here. This is the pump body. It's the heart of the water gun. If we look inside it, we can see a whole bunch of smaller parts. These two objects are gaskets. They ensure a tight seal even under pressure to ensure there's no water that leaks or air ingested into the system. The top gasket seals the tank to the pump body and the side gasket seals the pump shaft to the pump body. This long white cylinder is the pump shaft. It's connected to the pump handle through the small hole you can see here. Now that you know what the main components do, let's take a look how the pumping system works. When the pump handle is pulled out of the gun, it creates a negative pressure behind the pump shaft. This negative pressure pulls in water. The water flows through the screen, filtering out unwanted debris that can damage or block the gun. The low pressure water is shown here in blue and it gets sucked into the pump body where it meets one of the most important parts of the water gun. The one way rubber inlet flange that you can see here. Let's take a closer look to see how this flange works and why it's so important to the water gun. As water gets pulled over the flange from back to front, because the rubber's malleable properties, the rubber deforms with the flow of the water and allows the water to pass around the flange. Once water stops flowing, the flange returns to its original geometry. If water tries to flow the opposite way, from front to back, the flange gets pushed against the rigid plastic back end. The flange does not deform and the water cannot pass around it. Now back in the water gun, we can see the large flange deforming as the water is being pulled through it. This is the intake stroke of the water gun. Once the chamber is full of water, it is now time to pull the handle towards the gun and compress the water in the pump body. The water hits the front of the large flange trying to flow from its front to back. The large flange remains rigid. The smaller outlet flange you can see on top is set up opposite to the large flange. The high pressure water is pushing the outlet flange from back to front which deforms under pressure. This allows the water to escape the pump body and flow towards the nozzle. Here's an animation of both flanges and the pump shaft all working together. Through each cycle, the high pressure water flows through the nozzle to spray the target. This gun has three interchangeable nozzles to manipulate the flow of water depending on the type of stream desired. Taking it apart, we can see the nozzle assembly frame here. This is mounted to the frame of the water gun and holds everything together. The hose flange is connected to the frame and the hose is connected to that flange. On the other side of the frame, there's a gasket that seals the nozzle to the frame, sealing any potential leaks. Next are two springs that fit inside the frame. Two hard plastic pins are then inserted in the frame that press against the springs. Once assembled, the pins always partially fit in two of the three nozzle holes. 
As the user rotates the nozzle head, the pins get pushed out of the holes and slide back into the next set of two holes. All assembled once again, the water gun is ready for action.